Kate. Hey, it's Bob. You still need a ride? All right, great. I'm right out front. All right, see you in a minute. Thanks. Bye. I brought a couple of friends with right? me. Is that yeah, okay? My totally. colleagues, we were on break together. We so. have plenty of seats. Great. Get on. <laughs> Thanks. So, so who, who, who do we have? I'm Erica. Hey, Erica. Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa. <laughs> Well, welcome to the cart. This is good. Oh, this will help us get to, uh, well, get you where you need to go. Yeah, seat belts are important. Why don't you guys tell me a little bit about the International Business Flagship Program? Yeah, sure. In the Jacksonville area, which I'm sure you know, we right. have a ton of um, international businesses and we're getting more and more every day. So President Delaney decided that it would be a good idea to give some extra funding to international business. Okay. So we have a um, a major, we have a minor, um, we have study abroad opportunities, faculty exchange opportunities, so all right. kinds of programs. Alyssa, what are some of the um, some of the requirements slash opportunities for international business majors? Well, for the requirements, you have international business students have to um, study abroad for at least four weeks, or if they're not, you know, if they don't study abroad, then they, maybe they have um, maybe graduated from a high school abroad or something like that, so we can waive right. that requirement. Um, but they also um, have to complete an internship. It can be either be yes, um, yes. a inter inter internship abroad or an okay. internship here that's internationally focused. And then some language proficiency, yes. right? Yes. We, we want our IB majors to know how to speak another language, at right. least conversationally, so they get that training here too. Okay. You guys want to play some music? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Let it go. Let it go. And did I hear that, like, we have a high percentage of, of program participants that do study abroad? Or there's a, there's, obviously that's a, a pretty solid, big component of it. Yes. Yeah. I think the statistic is 30%, right, of all the students okay. at UNF who study abroad are from College of Business. Yeah, 30 to 40%. Nice. Yeah, so they come yeah. through our office, um, which is pretty great because we see business students as well as other students um, who maybe pick up our minors or okay. just want to participate in our programs. Yeah, we have a brand new um, international business minor for non-business majors, so um, that right. provides opportunities for non-business majors who want to go study abroad for our programs. Okay. Well, and the cool thing is that at UNF, our students, um, just in general, study abroad at twice the national average wow. rate. And so, and a lot of them come through the College of Business, okay. so that's kind of perfect. abroad with other students and a faculty member from UNF. Um, we have summer programs where students go abroad for four weeks or so over the summer and get credit towards their degree. Wow. We also have exchange students coming in, so mm -hmm. international students from our exchange right. partners studying in the Cochrane College of Business for a semester or a year and we help them as well. Which is great because we have a program that Erica and I co-advise, it's the um, Cochrane Delegation. Oh yeah. And we pair up um, incoming exchange students with UNF students, so nice. it's an opportunity Ooh. for students who maybe yeah. can't, they can't go abroad um, to get this intercultural get experience, yeah. right? Or um, students who are like going to go abroad, they can get to know somebody from that culture. Okay.
bothered me anyway. <laughs> So obviously there's costs associated with whether it's study abroad or just the program in general. Is there you know, scholarships or available financing to help students offset the cost? We do have sales, which is through our International Center on campus. And that's a scholarship open to students studying for the long term, so a semester or a right. year. Or it's open to students going only for a week or for a summer. Um, okay. So for shorter term programs, like the week long in the summer, they would get $1,500. And then Thanks. for a full semester or year, they would get $2,500, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. And we also have some Coggin College of Business scholarships for students who are going abroad for the semester or year. Mm -hmm. uh, Those tend to be a little bit more um, eligibility-based, like your deep, um, GPA. Right. Um, so they can get anywhere from like $500 to um, about $2,000. Okay. And then nice. there are always other options, too, for funding outside of UNF that Alyssa and I are happy to share with students if they are interested in finding right. other there's a ton of money out there for study abroad. Right. I think that people don't really yeah. realize it That's or take true. advantage of it. Right. There's ways to get thrifty with your own fundraising too. Right. So. Nice. <laughs> and we have also a big we also have um, I don't know if you were aware of this, but um, with all of our programs, students pay UNF tuition for their programs. So if they have um, bright futures, Florida prepaid, um, right. different kinds of scholarships, they can use those towards right. their study abroad as well. Do we want to hear another song? Yes. I feel like we need more tunes. What are we What are we playing now? People always told me, be careful what you do. Don't go around breaking young girls' hearts. People always told me, be careful who you love. Be careful what you do. I can't lie because it's true. Hey, hey! Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who said that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. For program participants, what what jobs are you know you know kind of fit into where people are going to land, or what's the typical the career experience participants yeah. are going into? Or... So I guess it depends on for um, whether you're talking about international business or study abroad. But um, right. for study abroad, there have been a lot of studies uh, that show that students who study abroad earn about ten percent higher. Wow. Um, like in their salaries right okay. after um, their degree program ends. So just nationally, there is evidence that study abroad, because it gives you those transferable skills right. like um, uh, adaptability, independence, um, learning how to think on your feet, because if you're in a train in the wrong city, you've got to figure out how to get where you need to go. Besides getting higher salaries, um, international business majors and, um, and study abroad students in the College of Business typically um, go into jobs in, um, because there's so many in Northeast Florida, go into jobs in finance, right. in marketing, um, the typical types of business jobs you would see, but right. they tend to be the first people that their employers uh, look to right. when there's an international opportunity because they say, oh, you've had this experience abroad. Yeah, you've, you've worked with this country before. You've been to China. So um, what do you know? How can we leverage your skills? Right. All right, a little bit of wind back there, sorry. <laughs> I don't have to worry about the hair issue, so I don't ever think about it very often. So, right. so my bad, my bad. Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who thinks that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. Guys, thank you for riding with me. Sure, thanks, thanks for the ride, Bob. It was a lot of fun, and good luck. All right. Let's study abroad here now. Okay. That's right. Catch you next time. All right, guys. <laughs>